Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to The Codex. In this video, we're going to be continuing our Java series, learning all about strings and string manipulation in Java. Let's get started. So first thing first, we left off where we've now covered some variables, some arithmetic operators, and now we're basically going to dive down into strings and then conditional statements and a lot more fun stuff. Now, what are strings? Well, previously we discussed how to create a string. Strings are again just another data type in Java. To create a string, I can say something like string and then name is equal to double quotation marks Avinash. Awesome. So this right over here creates a variable called name, which is a string, and it has a value of Avinash. Now there are a couple of functions in Java that have already been created for us that we can use in order to get information about the string. The first one is string.length. So I can say something like name.length in order to get the number of characters inside of my string. My name is seven letters long, so name.length should return me seven. In order to try this out, guys, I'm going to go ahead and print this out. So system.out.println, name.length, close the brackets, add the semicolon, go ahead and save that. And then inside of your terminal, again, if you're using PyCharm, you can open the terminal from down here. If you're using terminal, um, you can just go ahead and CD into your directory and then run Java C main.java to compile our Java file and then run Java main. So as you can see, we got seven. Fantastic. The length function tells us how many characters there are in the string. Furthermore, there are two very cool functions, dot to lowercase and dot to uppercase. And these two functions allow us to basically uppercase or lowercase a string. So if you want consistency with names or consistency with titles, what you can do is say something like this, system.out.println and then name.to uppercase and then system.out.println name.to lowercase. So the difference again is that name.to uppercase will make all the letters in our name all capital and then name not to lowercase will make all the letters of our name lowercase. So go ahead and save that. And now let's just go ahead and compile our file again. And then Java main, I'm using the up and down arrow keys in order to access my previous commands in terminal. That's a very neat feature. If you haven't done that before that you can use. So Java C main dot Java, Java main seven, and then capital Avinash lowercase Avinash. Awesome. So again, there's the length function that tells you how many characters are on the string uppercase and lowercase basically do the uppercase and lowercase functions. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this and make it um, Avinash is uh, 18 years old, something like that. And now what I'm going to go ahead and say is if I want to find the position of something inside of my string or to see if something exists in my string, I can use the index of function. For example, if I have a string and I want to check to see is the number 18 or the string 18 inside of my name variable. So what I can go ahead and do is say something like this system.out.println and then name dot index of and what index of does guys is it can either take a character or a string and what it's going to go ahead and do is return the first occurrence of a specified string so in this scenario guys if i say index of and then i pass in 18 what it's going to do is it's going to go through this entire string and tell me the position of where this 18 exists inside of my variable now i'm going to go ahead and comment these out since we've already seen like the function and value and they're kind of pointless now so go ahead and save that and let's compile and see what happens. So Java C main.java, Java main, and then we get 11. So what is this actually telling us? Well, it tells us that, hey, in this name variable, the 18 number is at the 11th character of this string. And to verify that, this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And again, the indexing of Java does start at 0. So this would have been 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And the 1 is on the 18th character, or sorry, the 11th character. Anyways, awesome. And I'm sure you're wondering what happens if you pass something that doesn't exist. For example, if I search Bob, well, that's a nice thing. In case the actual string does not exist in your string, then you can say Java C main not Java, Java main negative one. So if the index of the string you specify does not exist in your variable, it will always return you negative one. So a very simple conditional statement, something we'll learn about in a future video. You can go ahead and check to see if a string exists in another string. Awesome. So again, we've covered length, uppercase, lowercase, index of. Just one last thing that I want to cover right now, and that is going to be string formatting. So if you want to go ahead and create a string that incorporates basically how different variables and different sort of like data types into that string, you can go ahead and use something called string formatting. In order to do that, the way we can do this is by using a very cool command called system.out.printf. Instead of saying print line, we're going to say printf. And that will go ahead and actually take in specific placeholders in our string. So what I'm going to go ahead and do over here, guys, is I'm going to initialize some variables. 
I'm going to go ahead and create an age variable. And I'm going to say age int age is equal to 18. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually make and modify the string so that I pass in percent s instead. So string name is equal to Avinash is percent s years old. Um, since our age is actually an integer, percent s is used for strings, percent d is used for integers. So go ahead and say percent d actually. So string name Avinash is percent d years old. And then what I can do guys is I can say something like this system dot out dot print f. Okay, again, this is known as a formatting for string. And I'm going to pass in my name string over here, comma, the variable that I want to pass in for this placeholder. So instead of making it just percent d, I want to say age. And then what's going to happen here, guys, is that the age variable will go into this position and it'll print out Avinash is 18 years old. Just to make this a little bit cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and comment out this line as well. Save this and I'm going to say Java C, main not Java, compile a file and then run it. And then we get Avinash is 18 years old. Fantastic. So what do we actually do here, guys? We use placeholders in Java. Percent D is for integers, percent S is for strings, and percent F is for floats or decimal values. And using these three placeholders, you can basically pass in any variable you want into your string. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. That was it for this lecture. We covered the length, uppercase, lowercase, index of, and formatting of strings in Java. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.